Hello everyone, I'm Charnel and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my hair journey, my life in hairstyles. And this is a long time coming. This is one of those things that I wasn't really able to fully explain over Instagram. And I've had a lot of hairstyles over the years, so I'm going to start from birth and work my way up to today. So um, grab a snack, grab a drink. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe, join the party. And if you want to see all of the fun and awesome hairstyles and learn a little bit more about me, then keep on watching. So this is newborn me. I'm still very puffy, very much just a worm, but still cute. So this is me less of an alien baby, and look at how my mom laid my edges so nicely with the little barrette. And this is one of the funnier family photos. It's a Charnel hitting her dad with the typewriter lid because he wouldn't take her picture fast enough. And like, look at my shadow, <laughs> like, I'm so menacing, but um, still cute though. So I was natural until I went to grade school. And this is me in 1995. This is me in first grade and I had very small baby teeth, <laughs> um, kind of shark-like. I don't have a second grade photo to show, but rest assured by third grade, I had regular sized adult teeth. And you'll notice my hair is basically around the same length. It does fluctuate maybe a couple of inches here and there each year. And this is the year 2000, the new millennium, so you know what that means. Butterfly clips! I was annoyed with the photographer, but I still wanted to have a cute smile. So I kind of just look really hyper. This was around the time where I started doing my own hair, like primarily, but my mom still permed it for me. My hair was like a little bit longer in seventh grade, but I always wanted to have a different kind of hairstyle than anybody was rocking. Little bangs were in at the time, but like, of course this wasn't like the stylish thing. I just did whatever I felt like. So I did these two bobbles on my head and I called them the Shrek bangs and I'm wearing monochrome orange. I was kind of a goofy person, but I didn't talk very much to anybody. So it's like, I just seemed like I was just doing weird all the time with no context. And that's pretty much what I did, you know, <laughs> because I'm a troll and I'm always going to be a troll. My edges were permed really nicely, like nice and slick. So this is me in eighth grade, more toned down, more mature. And this is, I'm back to like the standard length with my hair. And this was like the standard haircut that I had. It was like layered, but like kind of stair step layers, you know? And my hair was bumped, not flat iron. Nobody called it flat iron at the time. It was bumped, like you curl your hair underneath with the flat iron. And the flat iron itself was maybe like three or four inches wide. Like nobody used like the one inch, one and a half inch flat iron. So it wasn't very precise, but it made that bump though. And I had braces. Freshman year of high school, 2004, definitely my most awkward year, but I did a lot of things like I played the tenor saxophone with the marching band and I was also a cheerleader and that was pretty fun. It was like I did a lot of things, but I wouldn't say I was the most well liked in anything that I did because I wasn't much of a talker, so you know it was hard for people to get to know me, but for someone who doesn't really like do a lot of talking, I did a lot of things. I did all different kinds of art all my life. Like before I started school, I was definitely into drawing and painting. So in high school, I followed the art major track and I ended up going to art school for college. In 10th grade, I decided to transition to natural. So I was wearing these braids that I would do myself and I don't know where I found the patience to do these small braids. I was pretty impatient with my big chop because I knew like two years before that in 2003, I knew that I wanted to go natural. I just wasn't ready yet. Here it is. This is TWA number one. And it was a very big deal for me to cut my hair in high school because I didn't 
go to school with a lot of people like myself, I was different already. A lot of girls didn't have short haircuts at the time either. So it was kind of like a double whammy on both parts, but like I was always about being different with my hair. So this was really no exception. It was just like a lot of different. Junior year, 2006. So I didn't keep my hair in a TWA for very long. I went right into starting to lock my hair and I would seriously dress for school. Like I had nylons on, I wore heels so often and I wore these like short skirts. I thought I was raising like the class level a little bit with the purse and like the nice earrings. Like I was always wearing pretty interesting earrings, intertwining circles with like robin's eggs in the middle. And here is senior year. I was the class of 2007. I curled my locks with perm rods. My locks got pretty long and pretty mature, but then I decided I didn't really want locks anymore. So I ended up cutting them into like a cute short bob, but then I just ended up cutting them all off. And this is my big chop number two. So I wore a fro for a little bit and I really liked the fro. It was easy to take care of, easy to blow dry and get that height. But I felt like I wanted even more than that. So this is the last picture I took before I cut my hair into a mohawk. And I was 19 years old at the time, getting to know myself on my own accord. And this was taken before Duck Lips was canceled, by the way. And I would cut my own hair, and I would cut it down without a guard and have it be really close and really smooth. And I had my septum pierced too, and I started gauging my ears, and it was just like a very interesting time for me. And then in 2012, I decided to grow my hair back. So I would wear it in that top knot with the sides out, like twisted or curled. But most of the time, I started wearing my hair in twists. And I thought my hair was doing very well until I did my first initial length check in 2013. And I realized that my hair was not where I thought it was. Like I thought I was doing so well growing out my hair, you know, and the sides are short. And that makes sense because I was growing out a mohawk. But that really doesn't explain why the middle is so dry and is jacked up. That's when I started my Instagram in 2013, documenting my hair journey. With good hair care practices, my hair started to flourish and I got a lot of volume out of it. And even my lock was flourishing, like it grew pretty long. How long that lock actually ended up growing before I cut it. I also had a lock in the back of my hair that I was rocking for a little while. And this is how far I was able to come with my hair in three years. Like it's long, it's a lot healthier. The ends weren't exactly where I wanted them to be, but I'm gonna go back to 2014 and 2015 to just show you what I was dealing with between that time. So this is the ideal thickness for me with my hair. In 2014, my hair was like nice and thick. 2015, I used this dark and lovely color in Honey Rush. And it was a pretty light color. It's the lightest I've ever tried to dye my hair. And this is how it turned out. My entire head didn't really take to it that well, but it really took to the last couple of inches of the ends. And I got this nice red tone that I had been chasing for a while, but my hair just started to thin out. Also because I dyed it, but because like I wasn't doing a good job oiling my hair, throughout the years so like when i cut my bangs i also cut a couple of inches off the end and then i was just going to try to grow my hair from there and although my hair reached waist length it just wasn't as thick as i was expecting this is my hair 2017 of a year of trying to come back from that 2016 picture and i did pretty well this is the longest my hair has ever grown but i'm still not happy with how knotted and how split the ends were like I had trimmed my hair before this video, but I ended up cutting it even more than that because my hair was hard to brush to begin with and my hair was just kept breaking and breaking. So I gave myself a haircut and this is what I'm dealing with now in 2018. My hair is pretty thick. I'm very happy with it and I'm hoping that I'll be able to grow my hair down to like a long thickness. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me to have you here. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.